So how was your summer vacation in the year 2020? Well, in uh, respect to the, the idea that misery loves company, I went and had elective surgery, a full knee replacement. And let me tell you that misery doesn't love company as much as it needs hope. And that's where sports comes in. You remember where we were at the beginning of all this stuff? And we were talking about this on the show. Ah, this stuff will never work. You know, these sports are going to fall flat on their faces. But look what happened. The NBA bubble and the National Hockey League cities, these things have worked almost to perfection. Major League Baseball, except for a couple of clowns in Cleveland and some hiccups with the teams in St. Louis and Miami, Major League Baseball players have proven that the honor system is actually working. We had the U.S. Open tennis played without a hitch last week. We have the U.S. Open golf this week. And everything just seems to be falling into place. Now, sure, these events have been compromised with the fact that there aren't any fans at the, at the events. It, it changes things. Of course it does. But sports in the United States has largely been a TV show over an event for a long time now anyway. So the fact that these events are compromised really doesn't matter that much. So misery loving company, misery doesn't love company as much as it needs hope. And sports has provided a lot of that over the last month.